I just started drinking coffee again. And it's amazing. <laughs> I feel like I have so much energy and I can film all the videos in the world. This is a great time to start this video then. Um, I have recently started to feel like myself again. And uh, I... <laughs> I feel like I've said this in every single one of my videos, but I've moved to LA a few months ago. I, I've, I've been here since the beginning of November and it is so different here. I feel like a brand new actor for a few reasons, but um, today is my day off. I have a full-time job. Um, that's how I'm able to pay to be here and I am learning what LA is like compared to the San Francisco Bay Area market and um, I'm just gonna go do things today and talk about how I'm feeling after being here for four months, a little over four months, and just the differences that I have found between just applying to casting calls and, um, you know, the rate that I've gotten back, people have gotten back to me. Because in San Francisco, I have a video where um, I talked about how much I made in 2018 and then an audition tracker where I talked about all of my auditions versus bookings. And um, there are so many jobs here. The first big thing that I have found that is huge is that a lot of casting calls immediately ask for self-tape auditions. In the Bay Area, you would submit to something and then they would invite you to do a self-tape audition or your agent would send you a self-tape audition request. Well, here, a lot of the casting calls that I have found on uh, LA Casting, because that is the primary one that I've been using um, for the last couple months, is Backstage Casting and LA Casting are the ones that I've been using the most. and. Specifically on LA Casting, a lot of the casting calls immediately give you the directions to do a self-tape audition, which is crazy to me. I'm like, how many people are submitting? I wonder how many people they actually watch the auditions for. I also just applied to Central Casting, which is an extras casting, and that is definitely different too, because in the Bay Area, for a lot of the extra castings, it was SF Casting and my casting profile. Here, it's a little bit of other websites but primarily apparently central casting and i was seeing that in their video that they explain how to apply and register you actually have to go in person you take a course on just all of the info and that some of their slots fill up within minutes so that makes me think about casting calls should you only apply to it if you're able to submit within minutes because they fill it up so fast because so many people are applying everything is just a little bit different <laughs> but um yeah let's just let's just go honestly i already wanted to be at the thrift store i was hoping to get up early today on my day off i know i usually sleep in but i wanted to get there early because the other times that i have been there i have been there um to look at the furniture and once i got to the clothes i was kind of overwhelmed and tired and there's just a lot of people there but it's a thursday morning so hopefully there's not too many people and i can just like take my time there she is um, and usually they have some furniture over there and today I saw they have cars and I was like what they sell cars here I found out about this thrift store because when I first moved to LA one of my friends brought me here and she used to work here and it was kind of funny because people were like saying hi to her and um, knew who she was and I am gonna go look at the furniture first because they have such a good furniture section All I found was this really cute bag that I think I'm gonna use for my sewing stuff. It was $12.99, so it wasn't so cheap, but I really, really liked it. I kind of feel like I wanna keep thrift shopping, so I'm going to see which other thrift store I can go to in the area, because I'm just not satisfied. I wanted to find something cute. I wanted to find something that, <sighs> would help me like refine my style maybe something for work too but I didn't find anything and it was packed in there I am at a plant nursery now buying some plants I definitely don't have enough space to buy way too many plants um, but I'm definitely gonna take a few um, it's really cute So 
sometimes on my days off like today I just feel like doing nothing and relaxing or doing stuff but that isn't work related you know isn't um, necessarily acting or work or whatever and that's where um, I have the opportunity to do more acting things so I'm gonna definitely limit myself to only doing that like nothing kind of day or errands day to once a month so that I can really focus on you know finding more gigs and stuff like that I also am open to doing um, extras work and so I just looked into central casting and I can't believe you actually have to go in person in order to sign up for it which is a little crazy to me because it's 2020 um, but yeah so I'm gonna be signing up for that soon and um, now I'm gonna go home and put all my plants in different places eat finally and submit to a bunch of auditions and figure out what my goals are and the rest of my goals so uh, like I was saying I want to really narrow down the goals like by my birthday in April I definitely want to have at least a commercial agent because I have an agent agents in San Francisco I'm represented by Marla Del Talent and they're still sending me self tape auditions and such but I don't have an agent here in LA and there's a lot more jobs that I could be um, applying to and I've noticed that you really have to be ready to apply as soon as it comes out because there are so many people so there's a lot of people instantly applying and it seems like the first round of people that apply that they are the ones being considered I mean first that's obvious but only if 10,000 people were to apply to one job then you could imagine they were only gonna look at the first like 500 people you know so how are they going to see those first 500 people the people that apply first so that's the thing, I definitely want an agent by my birthday and I want to transition from the job that I'm in. I do want to grow in the job that I'm in, but I don't want it to, you know, push down my other goals because I don't really want to sacrifice anything. And if I had to choose, of course, between my nine to five to acting full time, of course I would choose acting full time. But right now I'm happy that I can have this job that I actually enjoy. and be pursuing acting at the same time. I just want to allocate more time to acting because right now um, I am doing a nine to five. So I'm spending a lot of time in that, um, in that job. I'm so excited with all these plants that I just got. They're so pretty. I have a 400 square foot apartment and I just bought five more plants. I already have a bunch. You can see one right here and one over there. Um, but I didn't find that much clothes. I went thrifting. Um, I was hoping to find some stuff just for my personal um, wardrobe and also for work. And I found these really cute pants um, at a Goodwill. And then this basket, I really want to start sewing again because I actually worked at a costume shop all through college and a little bit after. Um, actually a lot after. I think I ended up working there like eight years. Um, but I want to put my sewing stuff in here and I don't know if this is a purse or picnic, ba picnic basket or what, but it doesn't have any compartments. Usually picnic, ba picnic baskets will have some kind of place to put your forks and plates. Um, and other items, but this one doesn't, but it was too cute. Yeah, so this is how I spent my day off, and in between shopping, I also submitted to a bunch of auditions, and um, like I was saying, everything just feels so different here in LA versus San Francisco, and it feels like I'm in college again, like I'm learning everything again, like I don't know how to go out and get jobs. Because I wanna do more acting, I actually ordered some monologue books, so at least what I can do is practice some monologues, perform them, record them maybe, and get feedback from other actor friends, and um, that way when I am applying for agents that they can see my monologues. And I think I'm also going to share some of them on here and kind of show how I prepare monologues or and my experience, like you know, what they taught me in college and what I've learned along the way uh, as far as preparing monologues because I think that would be really helpful. 
some people comment um, on my videos like, how do I start a career in acting? I really want to do this, you know? Um, you know the biggest thing, of course, is learn how to act. How to act. So if you have a full-time job, like a nine-to-five, do you feel sometimes restrained by it? You know, like you're not doing enough for your other stuff, like your career that you actually want to be full-time. And um, I just want to share my thoughts a little bit more online because I feel like if I had a little bit more pressure, of course, anybody with a little bit more pressure does better. Um, just because I'm the only person really pushing myself and it'd be kind of nice to almost be cheered on or to share my experience. So I'm going to be doing some more vlogs like this and um, hopefully in the future it's things it's more actionable things that I'm doing or, or it's me actually in the process of doing them and sharing my experiences rather than just talking about my plans and my goals um, I just really feel like look you moved to LA you're here so like get something going girl <laughs> and, um, if you're subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it, so thank you. And if you're not, you should subscribe and let me know if you're an actor or if you're just interested in what it's like to be an actor. <laughs> uh, but I'm doing well right now. Um, I miss all my Bay Area people, of course. I was really, really homesick last weekend, so I drove to the Bay, even though I only had two days off. I drove to the Bay, and I drove back, and I got to see my boyfriend and my family, and that was really nice, and that's something that I took for granted so much before moving here, because I just assumed, like, I'm a strong person, I'm gonna be able to be fine, you know, even though it's, like, a new place to live, a new job, well, it's a similar job but a different office and um, I just really underestimated how important all of that is and friends and all of that so I'm definitely not as strong as I thought I was but at the same time I'm really strong for moving all the way to LA by myself um, so I'm really really grateful if you are my real friend in real life and family I really appreciate you and I love you so much and I miss you <laughs> okay I'm, I'm gonna go um, enjoy the rest of my day and get on my passion planner and just write some goals down for the next six months or so.